party with Comrade Xi Jinping at its core. The whole country is rallied together and worked together to clinch a victory against poverty. Poverty could not, fighting against poverty could not be achieved overnight. And throughout the whole journey, that also actually created that spirit of poverty alleviation. And also, we had the many good examples on the journey. And today, we invited four the party members, and they will talk about the issues regarding the carrying forward the spirit of a poverty alleviation and drawing a splendid picture of a rural revitalization. And they are Mr. Guo Xiaolong, Director of Development Bureau of Nanjiang County and Yushu, Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, Qinghai Province. Mr. Lin Zhanxi, a national and a chief scientist from a Fujian Agriculture and a Forestry University. And thank you very much, Mr. Lin, for all the way from Fujian to Beijing. And we also have Mr. Uh, Madame Yang Ning, from the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, Liu Zhou City. And we also have Mr. Wang Zeyong, First Secretary of Shui Jing Village of Guizhou Province. Now I give the floor to the A4 representatives for a brief introduction. Good morning to all. My name is Guo Xiaolong from Qinghai. Province from Shanxi to Yushu, Nanqian. I worked for these places with 4,000 altitude for three decades. From the very beginning, I couldn't get used to the places, but right now I got used to and also love and integrated to the province. And I received the, a true friendship given by the residents in Tibet. I believe that's the big assets in my life. That's a community level. Personal involving in the noble cause of poverty alleviation. This is my great pride. During the fight against the poverty, we work around the clock. That's our normal routine. But when we thought that our hard work helped Nanqian shaken off the poverty, and the residents and the villagers, the lovely villagers, and right now um, embarking on the way of a prosperity, I believe all the hard work paid back. As General Secretary Xi said, that happiness should be achieved through fight and the struggle. Although Nanjing already out of poverty, but actually just makes the a new starting point of the prosperity. I believe this is a great course that required our arduous and also the a sustainable work. Therefore, I have every reason that to fight for the goal that's letting the people live in a better life and a happiness life. Thank you very much. I give the floor to Professor Lin. Hello to all I'm from Fujian Agriculture and Forestry University. I'm actually a son of a farmer in a deep mountainous area. That is why in my childhood I had a dream of studying agriculture. So that is why that when I had my university examination, I targeted to enter to a school of agriculture. Later on, I involved in the research work in order to help people in remote places find a 
way out of poverty. And I did not make myself in the political sector. I started to did my research regarding the fungus engineering technology. And right now, this technology has become a key pillar to support the a farmers to develop their career, uh, making livings for themselves. Especially the fungus actually play a groundbreaking achievement in environmental protection. So look at this picture. This is in the Inner Mongolia, and this is a base for us to deal with decertification. So for the fungus grass, actually, as one of the way effectively deal with the sandstorm, making a groundbreaking achievement and also winning the recognition among the society. A shallow laboratory today become a national laboratory for further innovation. And also our fungus grass also been badly rolled out. The national projects led by myself, for example, that's the one of the projects underpaid by the Ministry of Science and Technology. And also we have the poverty assistance projects to Fujian and also Xinjiang province and Tibet. Right now has it rolled out to more than 500 counties and villages among 31 provinces. And also fungus grass also actually listed as one of the international cooperation projects. May 2017, fungus technology also been listed by United Nations as the DAP's founding projects uh, rolling to more than 106 countries around the world. The fungus grass not only play a key role in the national poverty alleviation course, also making its contribution to the world. It's a long journey ahead of us, requires additional hard work and also the a scientific research also no limitation although i'm in my 80s i believe i still can fight for my career and do more research in fungus grass i hope in my rest of my life i could see that the fungus grass can become a discipline and also build a line of defiance by the fungus grass, delivering more benefits to people, and also make fungus grass technology as one of the key technology to protect our environment. And my team and I will continue our journey to let the a fungus grass technology make a greater contribution in helping people out of poverty. Thank you very much, Professor Lina, to only teach people how to fish, but also actually did a lot of the concrete work to benefit people. Hello to all. My name is Yang Ning from Miao Autonomous County, Jiangmen Village. I'm a work for the a local party general branch. And after I graduated from a university, I actually became a 
had of the village. And after my two terms, I believe and also made the decision that I would like to stay and also led the uh, villagers to create more livings to help them out of poverty, which also help weigh the uh, support among the villages. In 2020, 95 impoverished household with 27 people who successfully out of poverty and had quite high count ratio of poverty dropped from 20% to 0%. This is a historic record. I believe that is also one of the snapshot of the a national victory in fighting against the poverty. I believe actually this is one of the, my biggest achievements and milestone in my past one decade career. Entrusted by General Secretary Xi, I will continue my course and also hand in hand with local villagers to realize rural revitalization. Thank you very much. Uh, the floor to you, Mr. Wang. A little note, my name is Wang Zeyong. Entrusted by the aviation sector, I was dispatched to Guizhou province as the first secretary of Shijing village. I lived, worked with the local villagers and also to create the uh, industries, support local village, and also I learned a lot through the, the journey. The good news to us is that the a village become a beautiful village, shaking off of poverty and we look at the industry actually already prosperous and the a tourist right now is taking shape as a practitioner in aviation industry I'm proud to be participate in the fight against the poverty work hard with the local villagers and also make our dream true as shaking out of poverty during the whole process and we also believe that the a success of our DA poverty alleviation is that we should go the a path of integration of the a primary, secondary, and tertiary industries going forward. We'll continue to work with the local villagers to create a beautiful future and also beautiful village. Thank you. making a poor village to a beautiful village. I believe that's a good practice of making the Lucy Water and Lush Mountain as the a valuable assets. Now the floor is open. Please identify your media affiliation before asking questions. Thank you very much with CMG CCTV. Just now, the A4 representatives briefly introduced about their experience. They are ODA practitioners and also DA people devoted themselves to the noble course. And what actually back you or what kind of spirit to make you so devoted and what is the a different memory regarding poverty alleviation, and maybe Professor Ling. Poverty alleviation through fungus grass technology leaves many memories to me. So I would like to share with you one story regarding the point-to-point -point assistance. So back to 1997, Fujian province and Ningxia Autonomous Region made a decision to make the fungus grass as one of the projects using fungus grass. And we first again a success. 
上不常找，风吹石头跑的，戈壁滩上，挖到地下，金笔作声，剑。And also continued our project in Gobi Desert. And we also got a success. In 1999, we organized more than 200 farmers to use the technology. And we also use the paired up assistance. So in total, 14 households see the benefits by using the technology of fungus grass. Before we went back to Fujian, they treated us a meal. But we have the rule that we should not go to the villagers at home. So we rejected that. And the local had told us that you had to go, otherwise you hurt their feelings. So we had seven members surrounded by 14 households. And they also expressed their gratitude to us by presenting a silk banner as a award. I believe that this is something beyond words. So we actually understood their feelings of gratitude. And this is also one of the reasons that we continue the project of fungus grass technology for over two decades. And we also have seen a notable progress gain in animal husbandry by using fungus grass technology. This feels like we are DA close relatives to the local farmers. I also would like to share that that I worked there for 11 years. One of my goal is like I would like to let the whole village out of poverty as a college graduate village officials. And one thing actually really deep in my mind and very impressive is that their mindset changed. And one of the local villager is that the a wife actually is the have the difficulties in listening and they relied on the a low subsidies for living and one day I promoted a project but the a local villagers actually see waited and see attitude but that villager came out and saying that I trusted in Madame Yang. So I sold my village, the uh, my house for widening. I used that fund to buy materials for the village. And we also have seen a bumper harvest. I also saw a most beautiful smells. Uh, Yang Mei Yang expressed thank you by using sign language. And because of you, Madam Yang, my family right now 
out of poverty. I believe this is one of the most significant and meaningful things in my life. And I believe actually there's nothing could change without once the undergraduates in the big city, but actually one big student in the village could make a big change. I also would like to share one of the stories in a high altitude place. This in Iba village. So that's regarding the provision poverty alleviation by relocation from inhospitable areas. Some of the villagers mm, not understood the national strategy. So actually, it's hard for us to roll out the project. So we visited one household by one household to explain the national strategy regarding provision poverty alleviation. So people understood the purpose of the policy and they moved to the places with the access to the facility and with larger space. They had access to education, to the daily necessities and supplies, and so they lived in a better life. And ODs let them understand more about the aspiration of the national strategy in poverty alleviation. The relocation from the hospital areas and the following up the poverty alleviation policies strengthened the confidence in the ultimate victory in this fight. And they also presented Hada to us to express the gratitude to us. And they express gratitude to President Xi and also the country. So the local villagers really actually benefit from the national policy. I have been lived in Nanjian for three decades. I experienced and understood that for the places where I have lived, uh, this is a place with the a frequent extreme weather condition and also the not good favorable places for creating more industries. I've seen uh, many scenes of the uh, people living in poverty. I believe this is my responsibility to help them and lift them out of poverty. After we initiated the precision poverty alleviation, we had more tools and means to help the people and also as a party member with that aspiration and mission, I would like to see the smell of the local villagers. And also, I believe this is the reason why I should stay here. Thank you. Poverty alleviation is not something that we help others because we actually fight for the same goal, we work toward the same direction, and we also involve this war together. So as a party member, I heard that 1,800 party members devoted their life to this cause. And also in Guizhou, around 200 party members also lost their life on the front line. So during the fight, I actually s touched by their examples. And also as the a person involved in the aviation, I had my aspiration and a mission. I believe this is also the, my determination to be make myself 
work hard on the front line of this fight and also from the impoverished family so I knew how they what kind of life they experienced so during the fight against the poverty in 2019 winter time a, a hyper in the price of pork and that impact the price of lotus root, which is one of the local feature. So we think about that we can, whether it's possible that we could bring the lotus root to lotus root starch. And very soon we received that the a certification and also the quality certification of the lotus root starch and we need to then find the sales path, sales channel and also the aviation sector actually learned these news and the people actually started to buy the lotus root starch from my village i believe that you could see that because of the people in different sectors giving their helping hand and also help us to clinch that victory against poverty. Thank you. Raising news. My question to Mr. Wang. I've noticed that a villager from the Shuijing village, actually, they also have the, a nickname for you, and they also had a song for you to describe you. So we've been in this village for five years. What kind of the new way you brought to this village? For an impoverished village, one of the key things is to think about a way out of poverty, especially that the a industry. So actually for the village, for the Shuijing village, we have a limited arable land. Of the actually located in the mountainous region, but we have the a sufficient water resources and the a plain land, but there's no industry. So I graduated from the engineering this faculty. So we think about what kind of the industry can actually develop the local village. So I also paid a field visit to different process and also visited the a key households in agriculture and also led the villagers to learn the good examples in the neighborhood villages. So we developed the a rule the, the integration of the primary, secondary, and tertiary industry that are including the village tourism, the a planting lotus roots, and we also established a company that's a collective company. So the company actually take the lead to coordinate the development of the industries. So there's a collective plus farmers plus companies. So we already planted the a uh, fruit trees on the mountain, uh, lotus roots in the water, and also we developed a, a village tourist, and also had the a uh, factory for manufacturing green tea, and also created the a uh, brand of the. Lotus root by five steps. First, we developed lotus leaf as uh, one of the tea. So for the uh, spring and uh, the uh, summer season, uh, we focus on green tea. And for the autumn and winter, we develop the tea from the lotus leaf. And also we had the uh, international lotus festival and that is also one of the way to develop the a uh, tourists and also we sell the a uh, live lotus and also we sell the a uh, lotus root starch 
and we also sell the lotus seed. So by doing so, it created has created many jobs. Uh, it also expanded the industries locally with with our arduous work. Right now, we created more than four million revenue and one million salary. And the revenue created through the tourism was 3.5 million. So the for the householder per capita income increased from the 3,000 RMB in 2014 to 10,000 RMB in 2020. And we also combined a, a online and offline sales channel, that creating additional jobs and opportunities for the local villagers. So with joint efforts, right now we have seen a prosperous future, and that also help us to inject more confidence to the local villagers. So going forward, we'll continue our course and the journey uh, to make it an even greater career. China News Agency. With the success of party alleviation, one thing right now is quite challenging is how we can deal with the flipping back into poverty. Uh, what matters in place do you have? So we can continue that the a successful achievement and also win the approval of the people and stand the test of time. I would like to first answer your question. After we announced the a victory in poverty alleviation, we actually has established a dynamic working system. Uh, we identified the a standards and also the a different scenarios, and also make sure that people encountering difficulties not going back into poverty. And for Nantian, actually, we had the local specialty. So that by the local specialties, we bring that into the a products, so people can have that the a industries to make earnings, and we also continue to train the local villagers. Uh, third, we also establish the medical team stationed, and also we have an assistant team stationed in the village as well, and we look into our weakness to make sure that the people before in the poverty not flee back. We leverage the role of the village officials. So we were monitoring the whole process and also the situation of each household. And we also will develop the uh, industries. Right now we have 11 households out of poverty. And they right now involved in planting the watermelon and night villages and now households involved in other industries and also we have the a 19 household involved in the a peak cultivation and we also have the a many other industries available in our Jiangmen village and we would like to further leverage the a local specialties so we can develop more industries to underpin the development of the village and also that can cover the impoverished household. I believe that we don't need to worry too much about people going back into poverty. So for the village level, actually, we need to establish that monitoring system. So we need to make that the, a great manage style. So we also need to reveal the process and also the condition of the local household. And we need to have the a assistance system also available in place. And second, we need to strengthen our industries so we can make people to know, have 
the uh, more the skills so that can be gained through trainings so people can have that skill to find a job or to start their own business and we also need to extend the industrial chain so we can create more jobs and or create more opportunities for people to start in their own business and for the household with limited income we look into the idle houses or their the a land for agriculture or forestation we will see how we can help them to create get more earnings and also would like to make the a brand for the a village so people suffered the a sudden accident or people with on the brink of going back into poverty that could be curbed. I believe every village have their own effective way for stopping people flipping back into poverty. Cover news. My question to Mr. Guo, so after graduate, why you choose to work in Nanjing? You also the a pioneering person with many awards in poverty alleviation field. Would you please share with us your experience? After I graduated, following my whole family, I moved to Nanjing. Back then, it is not a really good the, a transportation available. From Xining to Nanjing actually costed half a month. You need to ride a horse or by walking to reach Nanjing, and we did not have access to power or drinking water. Like for the potato or olives, actually something really rare to eat. Facing all these difficulties, actually a motivation to me, making myself thinking about what I could do to help this place. And also my father told me that if one generation could not create this notable course, then that maybe two generations could make it happen. I worked, lived in Nantian for three decades. 16 years I spent my time in the community level. Therefore, I truly understood what kind of the things the local farmers appreciated and how far they could understand the national policies. After I involved myself in poverty alleviation endeavor, I myself understood more about the poverty alleviation policies. So I first need to study and learn well about all these policies and then use the way that local farmers could understood, explained to them about the national policies. And by doing so, people, local farmers, got to understand Talking about awards, honorable titles, and the approval of the people, all these actually make me very proud. But actually, that medal or title, that's not my personal credit. That should be the credit belong to the 120,000 people in Nantian because of their hard work. Nantian and I actually won at this highlight time. I really appreciate it to the people because I just did something I need to do on the post, but the party and the people gave me this great credit and award. And that's also the courage to me that I should work even harder. And 
uh, carrying forward the spirit of poverty alleviation so I could pay back to people's expectation. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Paper. My question regarding the a technology of fungus grass, actually, right now, this technology already rolled out in more than 100 countries. I believe, actually, that you're a great person because this technology, you didn't use it for making profit. So what makes you make this decision? Let me first give you some background information. As I introduced, in order to help impoverished people find a way out of poverty, I decided not to make fungus grass technology for money. So that is why the country also makes this as one of the projects. The overseas Chinese paid me to work for the American farm. But I rejected that opportunity. I didn't go to US because if I went to United States just myself, but this is a technology actually The a team's efforts, and also I am back then was involved in the National Poverty Alleviation Project. Uh, right now, the a fourteen deep impoverished villages use this technology, and right now, this technology will be carried forward in many other provinces. Judging from now, my decision is correct. After we announced the victory in fight against poverty, we also look into the experience we had. So we need to combine the development of the fungus grass industry with the poverty alleviation, as well as the environmental conservation. Therefore, we talk about that we established several the, a park along the bank of Yellow River. We will establish industrial park. So that we would like to plant the fungus grass on the saline alkali soil, and also we got the a found from the overseas Chinese. And, and June first, Dunko Ninger Mongolia, we. Started the construction of the second industrial park of a fungus grass. The purpose of this industrial park is to deal with the a sandstorm and also for the environmental protection purpose. And also in this month, we also prepared to establish a demonstration center in a new one. And also in Henan, we also will is construct another industrial park in order to serve the rural revitalization. We will build more industrial park by using 
a fungus grass technology. Xinjiang News. A question to Madame Yang Ning. So after you graduated, actually, you had the, a chance to work and live in the big city, but you decided to become a college graduate village office official. So why you made this decision? So for my hometown, I love my hometown. So actually, I was a stay-at-home child or leftover child. My grandma took care of me. And in my childhood, uh, the people actually not afford to use electricity. And the, a five cents sugar actually is way too expensive to afford. Uh, the local villagers, our neighborhood, loved me very much, and they shared food to, with me. I left the village for education. Uh, in my second year in the college, I became a party member and I understand and I should devote myself to help people. After graduation, I got a chance and a job to stay in the city. I also learned that the, uh, my hometown right now is choosing the college graduation village office. So the decision in front of me is that whether I should to stay in the city or go back to my village. So this is a hard choice, but I really flash back to my childhood memory. If I could not go back, when was the time that my hometown shaking off poverty? I believe that it's the places need me more. So I'm very proud. I back then, I made a, a correct choice going back to my hometown. February 25th this year, uh, the a national meeting, and I'm actually very honored at receiving the a award presented by General Secretary Xi Jinping. That will also demonstrates the care given by General Secretary Xi and also the a party central committee. And we also followed the a party guidelines. And also my villagers asked me that Madam Yang we will leave. So I also told me that I will deliver my promise. I will continue my career here in the village. Right, start news. You know, we're finishing the poverty alleviation across the board and turn to the new stage of rural revitalization. I would like to ask the representatives and going forward, based on your current job, how you can further expand the achievements of the poverty alleviation and link that achievement to the rural revitalization. So first, talk about the consolidated achievement in poverty alleviation. So first, we need to prevent people getting back to poverty. So we talk about that before the, a bird that did not have enough food to eat. And right now, the bird actually had enough to eat. And right now, it's trying to fly higher in the sky. And how to fly in the sky? And you need to rely on your industry. So we need to use the industry to underpin the development of the village, creating more jobs. So you need to have a good planning place. The right wing of the bird uh, should be the management style. So also we talk about the, the rule of law, rule of virtue. We need to have a good master plan. 
Now the other one is the a local industry. And the heart of the bird should be the establishment of the a party. So we talk about the a retired, the armed personnel, the a graduate. So the need to let the a party members should lead the a village. So they should lead the and become the a flagship to lead the whole team. I believe that as long as we have the a strong wind and a smart heart, I believe we can fly higher. So that's a very nice metaphor. Uh, Madame Yang. In Jiangmen village, I believe the industrial development is the way out. Uh, for the location, actually, we could use and leverage the resources in Damiao Mountain. So we have our local specialties. I would like to translate a local specialty as the a name card of our village. We have an in, in many industries that can use the local resources. And we also have the a processing factories available. So I believe by relying on these factories and all these assets from the our mountain, and we talk about that the meat, we also talk about the uh, vegetables with local features, they are the assets. So I believe actually by using that the a uh, processing factories and also use the uh, live broadcasting technology, actually each of our farmers can be the a uh, live streaming host. So they can sell the product by themselves online. Standing on the spe local specialty, so first we need to know the excess of the a poverty alleviation, and also the a good practice should be carried forward in rural revitalization. And this are something we should carry on. And second, we talk about the a policy coordination for the people out of poverty should continue to practice the policies regarding poverty alleviation. And third, we talk about that we first have the overarching plan but that also should link to the other plans. For example, that we should have that plan in line with the rural revitalization, industrial development, as well as market. Just now, our four representatives shared with us regarding their experience in the battle against the poverty alleviation, their precious memories. We all know, actually, this is not a easy winning war. But actually, we not see the farmers actually increase their gains of happiness and the living in a better life. Right now, we are standing at a new starting point. We should further consolidate and expand the achievements of party alleviation. And right now, we embark on a new journey and also need to complete a new task of rural revitalization. We should be hand on and also to create a beautiful landscape of the country and move forward steadily toward that goal. Thank you, the speakers, and thank you, all the friends from the media.